Every one of us have a struggle. And so what we have to do is know that there's a blessing in every lesson. We just have to look within it and find that blessing so that we can turn that into things that we can use to not just help ourselves be better, but help us be better so that we can help others. You're listening to the Christoph Lewis Podcast, a podcast where I have conversations with inspirational people. My name is Chris, but my family calls me Christoph. My goal is to have as many conversations as possible with people who have forged their own path by pursuing their dreams, making them a reality, all the while emitting positivity and sharing this knowledge with others. I seek these people out and share this information with you, proving to the world that you can do what makes you happy and do what you want for a living while being a good human being. We'll talk about careers, but we'll also cover any story that inspires. Let's do this while helping each other. Thanks for listening. I'm happy you're here. What's up, my friends? Welcome to the Christoph Lewis Podcast, Create Your Career. This is conversation number 153, episode number 262. I am so excited, yet again, every single episode I say it. One of the things I love about the guests is when they give actionable items, like things you can do and apply to your own life to actually see results and make your life better. It's really good, and we talk about this in the episode, but it's really good to talk about mental positivity and mental adversity and how it changes you and how you can become stronger and get that mental six pack. Talking about it's cool, but if you listen to my contemplations, the other segment in the podcast, you know that you can listen to all the best advice, the best podcast, read all of the best books, but if you don't do a thing, if you don't take any action from that, it doesn't mean a thing. So what Chip does today Chip Baker, my man today. Chip is both hilarious. Chip is both awesome, genuine, and very, very intelligent when it comes to breaking things down, making them seem simple, but sometimes the simple things can be the best things for you to be able to take actionable steps for it. Chip is a coach, Chip is a teacher, and Chip is, like I said, a great guy. So remember, you can find this episode and all the other conversations and the contemplations on ChristophLewis.com forward slash podcast on any podcasting app and on YouTube. Head over there, subscribe. That would be super helpful. Also, sharing with a friend all the other 260 plus episodes would be massively helpful. Head over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, whatever you're listening to these days and rate five stars. That would be really helpful as well. I'd greatly appreciate it. So without further ado, welcome to the Christoph Lewis Podcast. Create your career. Thank you so much for having me. I consider it an honor and privilege when uh, someone consider little old me to hop on and, and talk about some of the things that I'm doing. And so I feel grateful and I want to say thank you so much for the for the opportunity. Yeah, Chip, no problem. It's cool. So a little background, I was on Chip's podcast as well. And we did the old podcast swap and we always have a good time. <laughs> but Yeah, it's like, you're right though. And I say it at the beginning of every single episode, it's like, it means so much. To me, when some people come on here and it's it's always an honor to get an invite on the same time to go on somebody's show. So, no, man, yeah. it, was, it was a no brainer to have you on here. We always have a good conversation. I enjoyed myself when we talked. But before we get into the rest of the episode, do you mind introducing yourself? No, I don't mind at all. Well, uh, I am Chip Baker, an, an ordinary guy working real hard <laughs> to achieve some extraordinary things. And uh, I hope that uh, in my quest to be the best version of myself, I hope that I've made my family and uh, the people that I love, I hope that I've made them proud. And so I'm a fourth generation educator. My family's church folk and educators. That's <laughs> without an S. So you mean, they really, <laughs> really some church people. No, <laughs> church folk and educators. And so I've been blessed and fortunate to be raised by some great people as well as be around some awesome folks to learn from in my career. Mm -hmm. And so um, currently, um, I have, you know, Chip Baker, the Success Chronicles, where I interview people from all walks of life and I share their stories for positive inspiration and motivation. And so uh, it's been a great journey uh, since I've started that. I've become like a three time best selling author and I uh, have, man, had some amazing experiences, been blessed and fortunate to meet some great people uh, to learn from and people that I can put in my my RHQ, my relationship headquarters. Nice. And uh, <laughs> that has, has truly helped me in my life. So that's where I am currently. I love it. Uh, just enjoying the journey and um, very, very fortunate to be, be doing the things that I'm doing. I love that. I love everything about that. It's really cool that you're fourth gen educator. I love yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 a long time, man. That's uh, 
it, oh, it's in your man, blood. It it's in your blood. It's in the blood. <laughs> it's, it's funny that you say that because that's what I, I tell people too. I mean, it's it's in the blood. I mean, it's I heard um, like when I was a kid, I would hear my my mom and my grandmother say, you know, to be great, to be a great educator, it has to be a calling. Mm-hmm. You know, and I didn't know what that meant until I was in it. And I saw the differences and mm-hmm. different people. And I, I think I agree, you know, it's definitely a calling. Yeah. It's a powerful thing to do. I think that's something that we're trying to do through our podcast. You know, our shows yeah. is to be able to continue that education. And I know you're a teacher and you're a coach, and that's just what you've been doing for a while. And like you said, it runs through your blood. And I think it's just it's obvious in today's day and age that you would carry that forth into the technology realm, if you will, yeah. you know, in the technology world and be able to educate people like that. And that's like me leading us into the next thing I want to talk about is your stories have been just absolute fire. I was looking at them and I was like, I just, I just love the mindset and I was sharing it. And I, I encourage you to head over to Chip's Instagram, which you'll see in the show notes uh, right now by the time this airs and head over there and just see some of the tweets and some of the things he's talking about. And the reason I love it is because it's not like this, this crazy, hard, abstract thing. It's just like gratitude and, and, yeah. and think about, like I was telling you before we started recording, my favorite thing is thinking about what you do have instead of thinking about what you don't have. And your story was saying, let me see. Yeah. I wrote it down even cause I didn't want to butcher it, but this, you know, with all the school shut down. So if you're listening to this in the future, it's April, 2020, and you know, we're still deep in COVID, but you said all the schools were shut down, you know, but our still, but our kids can still get an education. You know, the, everything's shut down, but I can still go to the store, you know, and all of these things. And it's just like, I think it can almost go over your head. You know, you take it for granted, but if we couldn't do those things, whew, it's crazy, man. So yeah. I would love to hear you talk a little bit more about how you're able to have that mindset and share that mindset, like how you got there and just a little <laughs> bit more about it. Um, you know, it's funny to hear you say that and, and <laughs> you know, starts the the reflective kind of me thinking, Yeah. you know, kind of like I said, it's in the blood. Uh, as far as the educator, I think the fact of having a positive mindset and uh, finding the good, I mm-hmm. think that's come from, you know, some of the things that's happened in the past yeah. and just like anything reps make you better. Right. So, you know, for me, you know, there's lots of things that I could have looked on in my life and made excuses. Mm-hmm. Right. So, you know, raised with a single parent, uh, you know, didn't have very much, you know, made some mistakes, uh, you know, struggled on some things, you know, all of those things. And and really in life, none, none of us are perfect, you know, and none of us are immune from going through tough things. I don't care who you are, you know, and so we all, every one of us have a struggle. And so what we have to do is know that there's a blessing in every lesson, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. We just have to look within it and find that blessing so that we can turn that uh, into things that we can use to not just help ourselves be better, but help us be better so that we can help others. Mm. And so I think in my life, in saying all of that, I learned a long time ago that it ain't about me, right? And I know I'm an educator and I should, (laughs) it's not about me. No, it ain't about me, okay? (laughs) And I learned that a long time ago in my life and I'm grateful that the big man has given me the awareness to understand that because how I operate is because of that in everything I do. So it's intentional, uh, you know, it's intentional that I posted that, yeah, you know, that you yeah, saw that yeah, yeah. because those are my sentiments. I mean, so I think, man, we can always, it starts with the positive mindset. Mm-hmm. I like to tell people that, that my blood type is B positive. <laughs> I'm stealing right. it, Chip. <laughs> I'm and stealing I, it. I'm and stealing I, that. I try to stay away from people with the blood type of old negative. Oh my god! <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about—the simplistic. Like I've, I've just never thought about that, but I love that. And and that's what it is, man. I just strive every day to be positive, and yeah, you know, just take one day at a time and do the best that I can and be the best version of myself. Yeah. Today. Yeah, that's all you can do. I like how you said just yeah. like anything, you got to get the reps in. And I know 
like it's, it's a journey and without being too cliche like those reps take time and those i was just like yeah. everything everything that we want to do it just takes reps and i think we can't discount the mental aspect of that as well like it takes reps you got to work out your mind too to be able to get used to it to build like because a lot of times we from my experience we sometimes tend to think that our initial thoughts are exactly who we are and what we have to do and that's rarely the case mm -hmm. if ever building on the what you said the more we do things the more we put those reps in the more we realize that we can choose always what we want to do and who we want to be and we don't have to succumb to either you know those old negative blood types around us or anything else that's going on that isn't the direction isn't headed in the direction that we want to go in so i love that you're doing that and finding the good and all that stuff and like i said man we just don't need to overcomplicate these things and no and and you're not it's just that's what it is and that's what i like about it and you taught or you talked about one of the things that you know i love and all the listeners know i love talking about helping other people and that's one of the huge pillars yes. that this podcast is built on and you just went right into it and you know it's it's not about us it it is and it isn't you know because like you said you got to work on yourself to make yourself a little bit better each day and through doing that, you're able to help other people. And I love that you're doing that. And that's one of the many reasons it was a no brainer to have you on here, man. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, yeah. just as I hear you talk that, you know, really, uh, just like we said, talked about reps. When you look at training, you know, to have a positive mindset, we have to train our, our positive mindset muscle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And you train it by getting reps and going through things. And I'll tell you this story. Uh, interviewed a guy. He was in the military, and uh, you know, he said uh, <clears throat> he he was talking with this guy. I mean, like, was in the service for like forty something years, really decorated, you know. And uh, he was like, you know, how did um, you been in the service for so long? And you know, how, how have you been super successful and done those great things? And he just said, um, you know, any simple guy, right? Just said, good choices. <laughs> You know, and so he said, he asked him, he said, uh, uh, so, so how have you, you know, learned to, to make good choices in your life? You know, and he said, uh, one word experience, you know, <laughs> and he's like, so, you know, like, okay, simple guy. So how did you get experience? Two words bad choices <laughs> <laughs> so simple so, so funny. so yeah. simple man and, it, and it really is, is reps you That's know we learn from them. that is hilarious so, <laughs> we learn from the reps man good choices experience, experience. Bad, choices. bad choices and but that and it's so simple but it's like that that person is learning you know from those bad mistakes so you know, lest we make those mistakes again, then, then that experience is just, it's a waste. And then we can't yeah. make those good choices. So I think that always goes around the saying of it's simple, but it's not easy. Like it's, it's simple yeah. in theory, but how easy is it to apply this stuff? Even going back further into the beginning of like me saying the things that you were saying in your stories and just the, the person who you are, it can be simple to say, you know, everything's shut down, but at least we can teach our kids and we can teach ourselves. Everything's shut down, but at least we can go get food. But I think where people struggle with is in the moment, you know, because your emotions get wrapped up. So I think that's why it's so important to practice that because a lot of times, you know, when you're in the heat of it, you know, in your argument or whatever it is, it's like really hard to like pull yourself down back to earth and like think those thoughts that you want to think. But I, I think if you truly want to do it, like you're saying, you're you'll eventually do it. You just got to keep up the faith that you can do it. Yeah. It's a choice too. And I think, it, I think yeah. it also goes back to, like I said before, you know, understanding that it ain't about you because I think if you're in tough situations like that, if it's just about you, you'll give up or you'll quit. Right. Yeah. yeah. But if you, if you truly understand that like it's bigger than me, you know, I have people looking up to me, you know, if I, if I can just, take one more step and get on the other side of this, then now what I will have accomplished, I will be able to help so many people. Mm -hmm. And that allows you to push yourself through those adverse situations. Mm -hmm. Because like, man, like I said, we're, none of us are immune from going through that. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, and, and the, the crazy thing is, you know, you're going to have that repeatedly in your life. Yeah. 
and and the more you you grow, the more you grow through it. You know, <laughs> not go through it. The more you grow through your go through, the better off. The more you're equipped to handle that mm. that grow through process. Yeah, and I think how how powerful is it to hear you say no one is immune to it now because i mean like this is some shit right now like everybody everybody <laughs> yeah. in the world like it doesn't matter where you are i don't care who it's you bring, are it's bringing us together you know in a, in a weird yeah. bad way i mean so nobody yeah, yeah. No, literally literally nobody is immune from it and, and not just in again in a physical sense but no matter what it is but you're right you're absolutely right when you do it for other people like here, here's a good example I'll, I'll, i like using personal examples i was had a terrible morning routine. I want to get back into it. I had an accountability partner. Everybody knows about that. But like for me, why it was so impactful and why it actually worked is because if I get out of the morning, and I'm tired. I'll like, I'll just go back to bed. I'll find a way to do it later. But I know that if I don't get out of bed and text that individual and say, I'm here, I'm doing it, you know, I'm going to let him down and I'm going to feel terrible for that. So I, I absolutely know. And then as a military guy, you know, you don't want to let down the team. You're a coach, you're a teacher, you're a father. You don't want to let down the team. You don't want to let down your family. You want to provide for them, you, you know, all those things. So those are, I mean, those are fire points. And I still think it's hilarious about the good choices and the bad choices and the all the experience and everything about that. So so let's talk about experience a little bit, having said that. I, yeah. I always like to talk about behaviors, behaviors that lead to whatever your version of success is. Do you have some favorite behaviors of yourself that that have led to that version of success? Oh man, I have a I have a couple concepts. Like I'm a real simple guy, you know. I yeah. think you've said that a couple yeah. times. Like, I'm a like I have like operating systems, you know. Like I have yeah. I got formulas are great for me, you know, because it's I can plug things in and be good, you know. Yeah, no, that's good. And so I think for me, when you look, there's a there's a big picture perspective. I guess you can say you know, telescope, if you will. And then for me, there's a, mm. a minute, small picture perspective. Sure. And I guess you could say microscope. Okay. And so for me, big picture perspective, you know, when you're looking at uh, big picture, you know, it starts with the mindset, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I have LPOs. And what that is, is L is limits, right? And I think that if you limit yourself, you limit yourself. And so you have to know that, like you are capable, you are enough, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The P is, is possibilities. You know, the possibilities are possible. You just have to believe that, right? Mm -hmm. And the more you get those reps that we talked about, the more you'll see, oh yeah, it's, it's possible. Yeah. All right, and then the O in that is opportunities. So every opportunity that you have along the way as you're, you know, breaking those limits or understanding that the possibilities are, are possible, every opportunity that you have, opportunities bring opportunities. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so the the better off you are in your day-to-day -day task today, the more opportunities you will get down the road because people see that you are dependable. Yeah. You're you're yeah. consistent. They can trust you yeah. because you're money. Yeah. Right. And so for me, that's the big picture. I think that is my mindset of things of how I attack things big picture wise. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, the minute uh, microscope is I have a principle that I call SHG principle. Right. And so um, like, like I'm not just saying, yeah, I'm interviewing on uh, Christoph's podcast and I'm coming up with these concepts and no, bro, <laughs> like this is, I live this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like this is it's and, real life. Know, as man. Coach, yeah. 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 As a coach, like this has been my rules the last few years that I've coached. Yeah. Like this, yeah, this SHG that I'm about to tell you. So uh, the S first is, so sometimes when we're, when we're striving to achieve great things, we get caught up in looking far down the road, right? Sure. And we really don't look at the day-to-day -day process, but it's important to look at the day-to-day -day process and be efficient and effective each day so that when we get to that, where we want to get, like, it's pretty good stuff, right? Yeah. And so the S for me is show up. So if you signed up for something, show your butt up, <laughs> right? If you tell people you're going to do something, do it. And if you can't do it, then explain to them why you can't. 
So that's the S. H, have a great attitude. And, you know, for me, gratitude is the attitude that determines our altitude, right? Love and it. so we have to be grateful. We have to know that, you know, it could be better, but guess what? It could be way worse, you know? That's so true. just have that even kill attitude of gratitude. And then the G is give your all. You know, some days, you know, my all may just be 70%. Yeah. Or, or or 80% on a good day, it might be 95. But whatever you have to give that day, give it. I think that if, for example, if I can SHG today, be in the moment, SHG today, then today's going to be a pretty good day. Okay, so then I reevaluate at the end of the day, hit the ground running the next morning, SHG for that day. Mm-hmm. I do that process for several days. I mean, I, I've gone a whole week that's pretty good, right? Then I take that and I open. Oh, it's been a month. It's been a great month, then a great year. And so before you know it, you will have lived a great life and mm. you will have been able to leave a legacy. But bigger than that, you will have lived a legacy by your day to day actions. Mm, that come good. on. That's good, Chip. Come on. It's good. I love it. I love it because it all starts, like you said, you have the big picture and you have the minute picture, you know, the smaller picture, the microscope. And I, yeah. I truly believe that it starts with those small things and it builds that momentum. And again, speaking from personal experience, like I know having hit my 46th day of finally working out that I feel so much better than when I was tiptoeing around Ooh, and kind of, you know, half in it a little bit here. So, I, I, you know, you're showing up every day, the, the attitude and I love the gratitude. And that's just one thing that it helps. It helps in these times. Like it goes back to your stories and why they're so good is because you're able to say, like, if nothing else you were talking about, if nothing else, the fact that you're reading this, it means you have a heart in your chest and it's beaten, you know? So at least you're alive and you're at least you're able to do this. So if nothing else, you got that. And then to give it your all. And I like that you put in there the different percentages, right? Because I think sometimes when you feel that I'm just not feeling hundred percent today, well then do yeah. do that new 100%. You know, do whatever that new 100% is and that percentage that you're actually doing is better than 0% if you hadn't done it at all. So that's brilliant. And you, and you still get better by giving that percentage. Exactly. Exactly. Something is definitely better than nothing and I think Yeah. that by at least giving a little bit or as much as you can give, it maintains that momentum. And then it helps you because maybe the next day you'll have that 95% day or that yeah. 100% day, you know, or or you'll build a new 100% and you'll blow the roof off of it, you know, and you'll have a 110% day because you didn't know you were capable of that. And I think that's, that's one it, of the man. things that that you've just hit perfectly. And I, 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 I here we are hitting another pillar. What I love about the podcast is always, 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 I think, and from personal experience and from experience of mentoring other people and having other people work with me is we sell ourselves short. If there's like a couple things I always want people to take away from the podcast, it's helping other people for sure. It's not selling ourselves yeah. short. And that's just one of the things we should not do. And by doing this SHG, I hope you got, I'm taking notes like a mad person over here. I hope <laughs> you guys are taking notes, you know, having the big picture, the small picture, the LPO, the SHG. It's incredible. And I want to go back to the LPO. I wrote the, I wrote them down and I love what you said about opportunity leads to opportunity. Oh, isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? Man, I I can't tell you how many stories I have, personal stories in my life of where in the moment I was just trying to be the best person that I could be. And I worked hard and I respected people and I did things the right way. I can't tell you how many times that down the road I was referred for a job or Mm, given an opportunity based on something I did. Like like my, my first teaching and coaching job right out of college I got that job not because I was the most qualified. I got that job because the principal that was hiring knew the guy that was my elementary school principal and my little league baseball coach. And that guy told him that I was a good, hardworking dude and I needed to, he needed to have me on his team. <laughs> That's such a great example. <laughs> You know, and so like like I got my first teaching and coaching job in when I was in little league baseball. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> that's crazy to think about. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, and you know, I'll just it was just, you know, I just like huh. I said, I just tried to carry myself the right way, be respectful, do the right thing. 
Mm-hmm. And, you know, opportunities, those opportunities gave me opportunity down the road. I mean, and it's a number. Like, man, like I could write down two, three, four, five pages of things that have happened to me like that in my life. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Just us being here is, a, you know, yeah, another, I think so. you know, opportunity. Yeah, I think so. Because if we wouldn't have had met, I th- think on Instagram, I'm, I'm thinking or no, I think you had emailed me or something. either way. Um you know, humbly you you brought me on that was incredible I had a good time and and then i was just I, we finished the episode and i was like dang i need this guy on here and so we did that we set it up for down the road and then here that's a perfect example is 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 the example that we're living right now between just you and i and it's it's insane to be able to do that you know and i, I see that happen all the time i love podcasting for that reason is yeah. people get more people get help than you could ever imagine being able to do something like this and Again, it goes with don't sell yourself short. If I mean, it, seriously, if you're listening to this right now, applying this stuff is so incredible for yourself. But if you're able to apply it and then yes. think about if somebody else teaches somebody this, you know, somebody that's listening right now applies the LPO, the SHG, does their best every day, finds these new opportunities for themselves and then teaches that to somebody else, then it's the, it truly is the gift that keeps on giving. And it's, it's, a, it's just to me. It's something I'll never take for granted that we can do this. I think it's incredible, and now more than ever. Yes, yeah, man. so, so, so true. Yeah, so we've been going and gunning hot on the positivity, but I want to kind of change lanes. I want to change yeah. lanes, and I want to talk about, you know, either the most interesting problem that you maybe had to overcome in your career journey, or maybe an obstacle where you thought you couldn't do it anymore. Whatever that is for you, whatever you wanted to do, what was it, and how did you get over that? Man, that's every day. Woo. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <All right. laughs> you know yeah. like, you know, uh, you know, I think in striving to be the best version of myself, being lesser is a problem, <laughs> you know, and, and it drives me immensely mm-hmm. because I know that I have people depending on me. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And so, like, if I and I'll, I'll go, I'll use teaching and coaching as an example. Sure. Um, like you can't have bad days or military, for example, like, bro, Hey, you have a bad day. Somebody dies. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're right. It's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, like, like it's that serious. And so like, I, that's how I approach my day to day and what I do. Um, you know, I, I can be sick today, but I still have got to show up and, and have a great attitude and give those kids my all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like they're, they're depending on me. Yeah. They're looking at you. That's for sure. Right. Right. And so, you know, I just think for me, big picture, uh, that's what it's about. And that's what drives me. And I hope that I didn't, st- <laughs> I told you I'm being positive. I hope I didn't spend that too much in a positive <laughs> life yeah. way. But, uh, and I, I just, like I said, any of the things that I've gone through growing up with a single parent, um, you know, I, uh, Took my and I, this is something I don't really, haven't really talked about. You know, coming into education, it took a while for me to pass my certification test. You know, just things like that. You know, multiple tries, sure. but you just keep trying. Yeah. And so, you know, I could have used all of those things as excuses. You know, poor me. You know, yeah, yeah. But no, yeah. I chose to use them as as things to fuel and drive my motivation. You know, to work harder um you know now you know my my son won't feel the pains of you know being raised ever he won't feel the pains of being raised you know with a single parent mom Mm -hmm. you know you know just those kind of things that i can you can take your experiences and use those to help you be better so Mm -hmm. just in a nutshell you know i really didn't get one particular thing but there's been lots in my life Mm -hmm. that um Man, I, I could I could look at and I think it's phenomenal. It's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's the it's the theme of a lot of what you've talked about in the not just the simplicity, but in the day to day, right? Working on yourself yeah. at a micro level to be able to help yourself and the world around you at a macro level, and even on a micro mm. level. But it starts with you on a micro level, and I, you're right. We were talking about you know you're a teacher. 
you're and even now I'm learning. I'm a parent and she she's one now. You know, she's 14 months and she's watching everything I'm doing. So everything. you you as a teacher are getting you're seeing every day and as a coach, you know, you could do 100 things right, but you do that 101st thing wrong, they're going to oh, be like, "Oh, man. coach messed this up or, you know, coach said this or coach did that." And who they and they're looking and they're going to remember it. So I mean, it's a it's a lot of pressure, but I think if you have such a strong foundation to lean on, that you've built for yourself and you continue to work on it, which I think is really important. You don't just build an incredible foundation and build a skyscraper in it and then just let it sit there and rust. Like the Mm. window cleaners are always cleaning. They're always doing some maintenance on the elevator. Like everything is being worked in and on at all times. And I kind of see like, that's how you've, you've laid this out here. You've spent a lot of time thinking about this. You've done a lot applying this and you're sure as hell living it that's it yeah that, that's yeah, why i think it's such a good answer yeah it's uh it's simple but i think in the simplicity it allows you to be able to do complex things mm. you know less mm. is more mm. kind of kind of deal yeah 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 i think that i've been trying to live that more it's hard for me but i'm working yeah. on it you know so i think that's a great point man it's been really powerful chip this has been good it's a, man, I try to do a little something, man. It's, it's a little, <laughs> a little something, something, but it's a lot of something. I mean, from the beginning, I mean, if everybody like I got a page full of notes over here and all the way from the stories, like I was just just looking like I couldn't wait to talk about it. Th- those things right there, especially now. And I think like so what I'm trying to say is this podcast would be good whenever this episode would be so good. But I I think there are just a lot of things that we can apply to the current situation of the world right now that will help us be able to be better ourselves and be better afterwards. And I just hope to God that me, you, everyone who's doing this, because like we said, the whole world is not immune to what's going on right now. I hope that we continue to learn from this and apply it to the rest of our lives, because it's one thing to be, you know, full of gratitude right now. But what happens when things are good for a long time? You know, are you still practicing that gratitude? Are you still feeling like this and living your life like yeah. like you talked about? You know, so it's, it's been great. So before we go on, I would love for you to be able to share how we can contact you, whether it be Instagram, website, anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so all, on all platforms out there, uh, kind of starts with the YouTube channel, Chip Baker, The Success Chronicles. I have a podcast on all platforms. Again, Chip Baker, The Success Chronicles. Uh, from there, I'm on all of the social medias. Twitter is Chip Baker 19, but then everything else is uh, Chip Baker TSC or Chip Baker, The Success Chronicles. And that's Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, man, TikTok, man, oh, wherever. Man, right. hey, hey, here's the thing. Hey, I don't want, it to, I don't want any excuse for anybody to not get this positive Love it. motivation and inspiration. So if you want to get it, it's out there wherever you go to, to get your your social media gig on. Yeah, so you, heard, you, you, you heard it here. You, you guys are going to be able to see all of that and more. Well, maybe not more. I yes, think that sir. covers pretty much all of it. So you're going to be able to see all of this in the show notes. And Go, go check it out. Go check out the YouTube go check it all out the instagram like i said just I, I love being able to see stories like that it's those little things you see for literally like two seconds and you're just like oh and it just boom changes the trajectory of my day like that boom you know and, and that's Thank what you you've so done much. before this so and during this but i was saying like you know when i was looking at your instagram stories earlier and then and then it just gave us such good things to start off and talk about so i appreciate it so chip thank you so much again my friend this has been an absolute pleasure i just from one thing to the next it was so good and i what i love about episodes like this it's a lot of stuff that's tangible that you can actually apply to your life it's not just like it's good to talk about it you know theories and things like that but and we did but we also talked about things that you can apply to your life so what i'm going to do is you know i've written that stuff down here and i'm going to put the the big picture and the small picture stuff in the show notes so you'll be able to have that and uh, apply it to your own lives and go forth and do good things so chip thanks so much thank you and i'd like to tell everybody out there go get it yeah all right have a good night my friend (laughs) 